Hi guys, it's Crystal. Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to show you guys a fun project creating one of those um, stuffed animal birth announcements. So I'm going to use this cute little elephant here and there's been a lot of people talking about it so I thought I would go purchase me one and then give you guys a little review on it. So these are from Amazon and they are seven dollars and change. Here is a picture of the little tag there. It is called Bedtime Originals and his name is um, Humphrey. Now I will have a link down below like I said seven dollars. These are super affordable because people sell these for around thirty dollars a piece. So you could make these and sell them in your little booth or whatever you've got going on or make them as gifts but it's got the cute little tag on here um let me see if it says the dimensions on here it does not so i want to kind of give you guys the information on that a little bit because sometimes it's hard to tell um when you're looking at something online compared to purchasing it so let's go ahead and see what we've got so from the top of his head to the bottom he's about nine inches from ear to ear, so nine by 10. So about nine by 10. I think he's a real perfect size. Let me go ahead and show you with my, my hand to his ear. So I mean, he is a really good size. You can see that in both hands. He's a really good size, but um, his ears are nice. So let me bring that up so you guys maybe see the texture a little bit better. Super soft. There you have it, front to back. Let you check out his cute little eyes. They're just kind of like sewn there. But he's a really nice one. So you really can't beat these for $7 and change. They have a girl one too, but I think she's $8, so she's pink. But I've seen where people are adding ribbon on here, which we'll try in just a little bit as well. So what I did was I decided to do mine with like a big capital R for the last name. And then Emily, which I'm seeing here now, like the black, you can see it barely a little bit here. But it's actually, you can see it more in person, but I probably should have went with white. To be honest, I probably should have went with white or a different color, but I did the pink to go underneath. So it's got, I'm going to have the name going in that direction, if that makes sense. So I've got it just like that. So this side will be like this. And then for the information, oh, for the information, it's going to go something about like this. So hopefully you guys can see that, the black and the white. It's really hard. You can see it in person, but the lighting, and maybe once I upload this, I'll see it a little bit better. But either way, you can see the black and the pink. I'm going to show you a little bit closer because it's going to be hard to tell probably further away. So that's how this one's going to look. Isn't that cute? So this is for, would be my great niece. So um, I just thought I would go ahead and create it. We'd try it out and see how easy it would be to use the 6x7 Cricut Easy Press to do a project like this. Let's go ahead and get started. Now, I looked at the on the back of his tag, and he is 100% polyester. Once again, you're going to go to the Cricut website like this. We're going to scroll up. We're going to choose that we are working with Everyday Iron On Light. Hopefully you guys can see that. We're going to hit Done. Then we're going to come to the next one and we're going to choose Polyester. So just like that, Polyester hit Done. And then we're going to use that we have the Cricut Easy Press Mat. If not, you would choose a towel. And then now it says 315 for five seconds, 30 seconds. So it's just like usual. So the 315, we're going to pre-press for five seconds, 315 for 30 seconds, and then flip for 15 seconds. But I'm not going to do that today. And uh, it's also going to be a warm pill, obviously. So let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to start with this ear. And what I'm going to do to make it a little bit easier for me, I'm going to scoot this out of the way just because I think it's messing with my lighting again today. All right. Plus, we'll have a little bit more room. What I'm going to do, you want to do whatever's going to work best for you. So, first of all, let's get the iron going. Turn it on, hit the temperature, and we're going to go to 315 for 30 seconds. And I noticed in my last video, after the fact, I had it on 29 seconds the whole time. I needed to bump it up one more second. Don't judge me. All right, so we've got that going now. So, now we're going to let that heat up. So, what I'm going to do, so you could either like try to work on this side and have it going, but for me, I'm going to do whatever works best for me. So, I'm going to flip it over this way, and I'm trying to leave the tag on for her, so I'm just getting it out of my way. I'm going to have it going in this direction like this. Now, I've got you guys zoomed in. So, I've got it right on the edge like this. I'm trying to keep that tag tucked out of the way. So, this whole thing is on the mat. So, I'm just making sure the whole ear is on the mat. We're going to pull the R off for just a minute and we're gonna pre-press just like that for just about five seconds. Now, if we need to, um, I can go ahead and pick it up again since I've already pre-pressed and look at this R if I feel like I need to eyeball it from the front. So I'm gonna get the R down again and now we're ready to go. I'm gonna do 15 seconds. Stop that and go ahead and see if I can't peel it off yet. You just want to be careful because since it's not totally secure, you can wrinkle your um, 
your iron on so just be careful so now what I need to do is get Emily on here once again you'll want to pick it up and look at it towards you so you can see what's going on and I'm gonna get the Emily down looks good carefully turn my ear around here making sure everything is on and I'm ready to press again so this time I'm gonna press for the full 30 seconds all right now at this point if you wanted to um, to go the extra mile with what Cricut says to do they said to flip it and you want to do another 15 seconds so you'd want to flip it like this and then just press it press it for another 15 seconds like so but I don't usually do that so I'm not too concerned about it but I just wanted to point that out so there it is look how cute love it all right so there is that side and you can kind of mess with the ear just a little bit like so cute so now we're gonna do this side now for this side I'm gonna have her her him the elephant I'm gonna have it just upright this way like I said whatever works best for you to be able to get that iron down and be comfortable with it this is gonna be a two-part as well so I've got half and half I'm gonna go ahead and lay down my first layer which is gonna be the black part we're gonna find out together if the end is going to stick because it fell off whenever I was weeding and I stuck it back and now I don't know whether it's the correct way or not you know the backing to the front so we're just gonna find out together so if it doesn't stick we know why all right so proceeding forward I'm gonna go ahead and get this down once again you may want to pick it up and kind of eyeball it making sure everything is out of my way it's hard to see because of black but it's there pre-press it again I'm gonna do with that 10 seconds all right all right so now that we've got that going on so now we're just going to go ahead and peel this off praying that our in is going to stick and it did so i did have it in the correct direction so you can see that there very cute now as you guys can see um you guys probably noticed i did not pre-press this ear but it's fine you really want to make sure you do to pull out any moisture but i totally forgot to do that i've got it all in this direction here so now what i'm going to do is i want to place this on here just like so it was actually meant to go in the um, in the other direction. I meant for it to go the other way, but I'm going to tell you it looks cute this way, so I'm not concerned about it at all. Sometimes boo-boos just work out. So I've got that all worked out on there like this. I think everybody's lined up where it needs to go, and I'm ready to press. So once again, I'm just going to line my ear up here on this, and we're going to press it. And now this time we're going to press it for the whole 30 seconds. All right, so there was another 30 seconds. So here we go. So all we have to do, it's a hot peel, is just peel it off. So there we have it, super cute. So like I said, you can see it really, really good in person. It's just hard on camera. So the black does look good, because you can see it really good. But look how cute. And I'm actually happy with the way that this turned out sideways so my mistake worked out i think it looks really cute i think it fit on there a lot better than what i had it now i am going to try to uh, share this file down below and you would just go in and change the information so if your baby was eight pounds or whatever it may be so here it is super cute very easy project this will make a great gift for somebody that just had a baby um, you can do these for girls or boys and like i said you can take and tie some ribbon with a super chunky ribbon you don't have to do one this big but i just kind of wanted to show you with some that i had on hand that's super adorable now this one is one that has a wire in it but i would just tell mom to remove that before she ever lets the baby play with it or anything like that but um that's super cute and then she could later create her daughter a hair bow out of it as well put a little clip on it but look how cute that is and you could always move it around front something like so but either way i just kind of wanted to show you that really quickly let's see if i can't get it on this side maybe a little better something about like that that one's probably a little bit too big for the for it to be honestly but it's super cute just to kind of show you that's what some people are doing is adding a bow to it um but it's just quite adorable i think i'm going to leave it and i'll let mom mess around with it she can make a bow out of that ribbon later but uh there it is so super easy you can see how fast that was to make that with the um cricut easy press so definitely check out these cute little elephants from amazon they're like i said about seven dollars and some change uh free ship you could get several of these this would just make a great gift for somebody that's recently had a baby. Obviously, you can't do it at the baby shower because you don't know the, the the info, but like I said, it's hard to see that black on camera. But there it is. So I hope you guys found this helpful. If you did, please hit the like button down below and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.